Hi everyone! Today I received a big package uh, from the company Artex uh, with two items. First, this box of SimTap acrylic marker set and a little Christmas present. A huge box of 126 colored pencils. So I'm not going to talk about these today. I'll make another video. Um, but they've asked me to specifically make a video about their acrylic marker, their brand new product. They come um, in 24 colors. They're saturated, waterproof, with an actual brush tip, and they have a strong coverage. They're bright, and they work on various surfaces. So it's pretty exciting. Get all the instructions on how to get them started, reminding us to keep the uh, cap on when we're shaking it to prime the markers to prevent splatters. So let's see what they look like. Here's a rubber band um, to hold the, the lid, I guess. But you probably can just slide it off. And here are all the markers with the numbers on them for the colors. It says on the markers themselves that they are sunproof, uh, probably meaning, you know, fade resistant or, you know, light fast. Again, on each marker, there's the instructions on how to prime them and get them started. And because they're a brush, it says that it goes from one to six millimeters, uh, depending on how much pressure you put on the tip. Oh, they are not bristles. I thought they were bristles for some reason. No, but it's still a brush and it's, uh, it's gonna be fun to play with. All right, so shake well before use. Press stop of marker body. So right here, there's like a push button. And start using, then recap tightly after use. So I ordered them to do my swatches and I'm gonna prime them all and uh, do all the swatches and see how well they work. Oh, you can see the uh, the paint going down. Well, it's not very obvious with this one because the color is so light, but I'll show you with the other colors. That's really neat. Okay, so I've primed all the markers. Uh, my thumb is a little sore <laughs> from pushing the top, but I've primed them all and I've put them upside down uh, while I was prim priming the other ones to let the ink flow all the way down to the tip. So let's see what happened. I think I can say that it works pretty well. So 
So actually as you can see, uh, some markers still have some white on their brush tip and so I don't know if I did it wrong or what but I pushed pretty hard on that top or that the end of the markers and no matter what I did uh, for for quite a few of them the uh, the paint went down but not all the way down not it did not saturate the uh, the brush tip so I'm not sure what to do even when I uh, kept those uh, markers upside down for a while I thought that the gravity would make the paint flow um, all the way down but it, it didn't for all of them and so I'm guessing that it's uh, using those markers that's going to start making the paint go down a bit and saturate the tip. That said, the few markers that had a saturated tip uh, really are juicy and they flow really well. The others flow really well as well. Um, they're, they're very nice to use and um, for some of them just like one pass is enough and you, you cover the whole thing. It's really nice. Um, the colors are pretty opaque. Uh, some colors are more opaque than others. Again, that's to be expected. Some pigments are naturally more opaque than others. And then as you can see, some of the colors are actually mixed with white. Um, so it, it does make them more opaque. The tips are a little soft, so I'm probably not going to be able to make very fine lines or very fine details. I quite like the variety of skin tones uh, that comes in this pack. It would be interesting to uh, draw some portraits with those. And then I was very excited to see that there is a silver and a gold. I did not realize that's what the colors were, but when I put them down on the paper, I saw that and I thought it was really cool. Um, considering that it's uh, Christmas and uh, time to make cards, Christmas cards, they will probably come in handy. All right, I'm gonna see how well they blend. I'm gonna try these two. It's not bad. So it requires a little practice, but I think I um, can do something with that. Just got to clean up my tips. And then let's see, let's see, what else can I do? I'm going to try to play with the white and see if I can lighten up blue, for instance. I think they dry pretty fast, so I have to be quick to do that. Now my paper is starting to peel, so that means that I have to wait for my layers. I'd have to wait for a little while to, um, to let it dry before I add more to it. I can add a little cloud here. If I let it dry, I'm sure it'll get wider and wider. Um, I'm 
pretty opaque. How about line variation? Can, what can I do? So we can get very skinny lines. Well, not super skinny because the tip is not, you know, it's a, a tiny little bit mushy. I mean, it's not mushy, it's soft. So can get very thin lines but by barely touching the paper I think for calligraphy they might be good this is definitely not my thing so <laughs> I'm not good um, but A variation is really cool. Yeah, I wish the white was a bit more opaque, but it's it's always hard to get an opaque white um, that doesn't clog a marker. So they, they have to be liquid enough and when they are, then they can't be too opaque. That said, um, you know, again, adding layers would work fine. So I think I'm going to try a tiny little sketch here and then I'll have another video where I'll, I'll do a bigger one, you know, on this side, I'll make up a, a big drawing for now. I just want to play with them a little bit. So I went on Pixabay again and found that graphic picture of a landscape and I thought it would be great. It's so graphic, it's much easier to use the markers with that style, to try them out at least. With the small sample on the left, where I tried to lighten the, the blue with the white, it worked pretty well, but I think that's because it was a very small area. When I tried to do it with the river, um, it didn't work quite as well because it's it's bigger and it, it just made it very streaky. I had a hard time. So basically the, um, the paint got absorbed pretty quick into the paper and, uh, and dried very fast. So it was very hard for me to uh, blend those together uh, without leaving any streaks. But when you use one color by itself, it's uh, very easy to get a very nice, um, even coverage without any streaks, which is really nice. So it was fun to work on that little sketch because it's basically some coloring, you know, coloring within the lines. Um, so it's just um, just trying to add some flat shading. Yeah, it's fun. It's pretty relaxing actually. So again, I wish the white was a bit more opaque, but uh, with patience, you know, as you let each layer dry, then you add another layer of white 
and another one and another one and eventually you get something pretty good I, I quite like the opacity on my cloud right there I think it looks pretty good so at the end um, I thought it was a little plain and the black trees in the foreground popped a little too much so I used a pen and I did some uh, very quick lining um, again just a sketch to uh, learn how to use the markers uh, it was a lot of fun so now I have to find another reference picture to see what I can draw on the other page something bigger and probably a bit more detailed less stylized I'm gonna try to use different techniques as well to see how far I can push those uh, markers I think it's gonna be a lot of fun so stay tuned because my next video will be a painting demo with these markers using different techniques so thank you again Ardex for sending me those markers to try and also um, the nice Christmas present with the colored pencils if you're interested in trying them out I will leave a link in the description down below thank you all for stopping by if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're feeling extra generous you can always click on the thanks button right next to the share button have a wonderful day everyone I'll see you very soon with the next video bye bye Thank you.